You know, this guy has just uh, seemed on the edge of uh, depression or anger or whatever, you know. He's had some uh, some emotion going today. Uh, the only time he really got happy about everything, it seemed like, was when he started talking about he and Mike Tyson, his, whom he claims as a, as a half-brother, kind of sniping at each other and getting in arguments with each other. No, that's right. He thought that was quite fun. <laughs> And of course, also with Twin Tyson. Says he'll use more of the peekaboo style tonight of his old style defense. Yeah, he said, I'm not going to be Joe Frazier anymore. I'm tired of getting hit on the top of the head. He said he doesn't want to get hit on the back of the head, especially. He's really angry about Calder Fire pulling his head down, hitting him on the back of the head. He said, if anybody does that anymore to him, he's going to just take matters into his own hand. Anything can happen. <laughs> we'll look for that. There's a good left hand by Kozer on Tan Escapes. Kozer not quite as aggressive earlier as we've seen him before. But now he's beginning to come. And with that right hand, I don't think it really got there, although uh, Tan got tangled up a little bit. That was a good right hand by Kozer. Kozer does have some pop. Hasn't really hurt Tan yet, but... Tan just pushed Kozer away, showing he's got some strength. Body work by Tan. No elbow! There's that top of the head shot. And he's mad. Yeah, he is. He just went right after him. And threw him down. He, you know what? You said this earlier, that you wouldn't be surprised to see a DQ. And it looks like Kozer is trying to do that. This is all of a result of that hitting behind the head. He said he was not going to take that, and if that happened anymore, it was going to be Katie bar the door, and you saw it. Now let's see what the end of this is. He is not, I don't believe he is announcing a disqualification. Yeah, he is. There it is. Yeah. Fight's over. Just like that. Tan wins by disqualification. I've just heard from the executive director of the California State Athletic Commission, Dean Lohaus, who says the culture will not be paid. They will, at least, they will hold up his purse. Now Kozer going over and challenging Dr. James Jim Kim, the referee. He had a real thing about this at our Friday meeting. He, he did. sat with him. He got very angry. He said, anything can happen. If they start getting hitting me in the back of the head, I'm through with that. I'm not going to have that happen to me anymore. If anybody hits me in the back of the head, I just could go nuts. And that's exactly what happened. You yeah. saw it. Yeah. We told you that before it happened. All right, let's take a look. Now, you're going to see Tan hitting to the body. Now, he's leaning on him. There he hits him on top of the head. More on the back. More on the back. That one's on the top of the head, and that's what that's what goes in, and that was it. The one shot to the back of the head, and that just uh, lit him up. He just he grabbed so him fixed in his mind. And we got real trouble. We got real trouble up in the ring. They're trying to keep Kozer under control there. Sean O'Grady's up in the ring. Sean, what's going on up there? In his situation. Kozer's trying to explain his situation. And now you see the emotions coming out of Kozer. He realizes that he just flipped out. But again, it was a guy who went in almost waiting for his trip wire to be tripped, Barry. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, he laid it out for us almost word for word. Of what, and he did almost exactly what he had said. If this happens, I'm going to do it. But, but my point is, knowing that, you wouldn't do it. To this fight, needless to say, he's very upset right now. And, uh, he's been on that. He's right behind us here, and he's very, he's very upset. Been kind of on the psychological edge certainly was today when we well, spoke this is what we talked about that he was edgy he seemed almost depressed he, he was talking about i don't like boxing anymore i you know i would never continue in this business after my career yes. and if anybody hits me in the back of the head anymore that he's going that he is going to uh, make that person pay yo he just flipped out he i think he felt some heat that's what happened well the man on my right has really seen it all and in, including the the fight tonight. What are your thoughts on what happened in this match? The man tried to he, he looked for a way out and he got and he found it. Because so, uh, Malcolm was doing pretty good. He kept his head and he kept his, he kept his composure very good. You know, in between the clinches and everything. Because he was just trying to do some wild, rough stuff to him. 
Plus, he didn't resort to the dirty tactics that Cliff Kozer was. What, what do you think that he could have – there's nothing he could have done if, if Cliff didn't want to fight him. It, it wasn't Malcolm, right? Nothing at all. It was all Cliff with the guy who fought like a coward. Bottom line, he's a coward. Only cowards fought like that.